Hey everybody, I'm Sarah with our Furniture Flipping Adventure and welcome to the $100 challenge. Today I'm collaborating with a whole bunch of other YouTubers. I'm going to leave all their links down in the description as well as a playlist so where you can watch all the videos in this collaboration. But we have $100 to take a piece of furniture and flip it into something fabulous. So today I have this <laughs> um, less than gorgeous piece that I'm going to be completely making over and if my plan works it's not gonna look anything like it does right now so I'm excited to get started and I'm sure you're excited to see what we're gonna do with it today so let's get flipping I'm gonna start by cleaning my piece I have some degreasing crud cutter that I'm gonna be using and I just got some water in here to rinse my rag out I'm gonna be pulling all the drawers out and washing all sides of the drawers as well as inside of the dresser just to get all the dust out that helps make it smell fresher and on the parts that will be painted it'll help our paint stick so much better when there's no dirt and grime in the way So while you're giving your drawers a good clean, it's a great opportunity to check and make sure that they're in good condition and ready for the next people. Now, I'm not going to say there's never a good time to randomly nail nails into your furniture to fix it, but uh, this, was, this was not an appropriate fix. So I pulled it back apart and before I get too much further on this project, I'm going to be fixing a drawer. So a little bit of wood glue, a little bit of clamping maybe some appropriately placed nails but uh yep one of the other drawers the slide on the bottom isn't properly connected so i just have to staple in that as well and yeah the drawers are good from there so gotta get my glue out and get this project going again as you can see i have some 220 grit sandpaper and an orbital sander Mine is the corded Ryobi one. I recently purchased it and I am loving it so far. I'll have my usual list of products and tools down in the description for you if you ever need them. After my scuff sand, I wipe everything back off to prepare for my primer. I'm using the shellac based bin primer and I usually roll it on with a cheap roller but today I have an assembly line of pieces ready to prime so it was worth my time to clean out my sprayer with the mineral spirits afterwards. And look at that, Andrew's feet made a cameo appearance in the video. Love you Andrew! Alright so this is the drawer that needed repaired and I have it in clamps right now but I'm going to go ahead and start getting my paint on so that I can not fall behind. And I am using Dixie Belle's paint today. This is something that I've actually never used before, but I have a stockist nearby and I went over and picked some out. This is Sandbar. I'm gonna be using this for most of my dresser and the raised parts. And then I also have some fluff. It's just a creamy white that I'm going to be using out oh, if you drop them they dent but that's okay anyway um, I'm gonna be using that on the inside panels I kind of want to blend them in also never done blending before but if there's ever a good time to try something new it's during a challenge so why not so I'm going to be using just my little shortcut brush from Wooster because again this is the hundred dollar challenge and this brush happens to be very inexpensive fits in my hand perfectly. I actually use this brush all the time and it's one of my favorites. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my sandbar and then hopefully by the time I get these done I can go unclamp that. I just want it to sit as long as it can in the clamps and then I will paint that part. I've already opened these and given myself a good look at them but I did also sand my primer down a little bit, um, it sprayed on just a little bit rough to the touch. So I took some 220 and just went over it very lightly with my sandpaper to smooth it out. Right, well first impressions, 
like the color. And it goes on really nice. I'm not worried too much about my first coat. I'm gonna be coming through the second. So I'm just kind of laying the basic colors on for now. And then I'll worry about everything else later. All right, I am on to my second coat and this is where things get serious. I know I mentioned before, but I've never done a blending project and I just want them, they don't need to be perfect, but I want them slightly blended around the, um, the edges here into the soft white of the middle and it's go time and I'm ready to get it going. So if you've never blended before, hopefully I can encourage you to try it if I succeed <laughs> and if I don't, Try it anyway. I'm not worrying too much about this part because the uh, the handles that are going back on, I'm going to spray paint them black and they're going to completely cover that area. So I did paint over them, but I didn't need to. This brush is lightly damp to start with because I, I used it and washed it out recently. I am kind of going light and cautious because this is my first time and I'm a little nervous. Then I have a, another brush, same kind. I'm just going to be And there we go, my first set of blended drawers. Not too, too shabby. I'm gonna have to probably go back and especially the first one, give it a little bit more. I figured more things out as I went along, but not as scary as I thought, just like most things in life. Okay, the dresser's all done, but before I give you the big reveal, I wanted to go over the numbers really quick. This is the $100 challenge, so I want to go over everything I spent on the piece, including as if you had to buy the same brushes and things that I already own. So, the products we use, primer, I buy it by the gallon. My bin primer is $50 for a gallon. I do get over 10 projects per gallon, so that works out to be less than $5. So we're gonna call it $5 in primer. For paint, I used the Dixie Belle. The sandbar, I used half of my jar, and that I purchased for $24. So half a jar is $12 worth of paint in that. And my small jar of fluff, I barely touched it but I'm gonna say about a dollar of that. So that's $13 in Dixie Belle's paint, and that's my first time using it, and it was 
lovely paint to use. I'll probably have to try out some of their other colors soon. My top coat today is Verithane's water-based polyurethane and I put several coats on the sides and even more on the top because the top gets all the stuff put on it. Anyway, for that I also buy it by the gallon and it's also very expensive, but per project it works out to be about five dollars. I've used the gallons before and that's just what it works out to be. I also spray painted my handles black and that was approximately a dollar's worth of spray paint. So for paint products we're in twenty-four dollars. To purchase the piece I spent twenty-five dollars. I found it on Facebook Marketplace and picked it up from there. My tools, my brushes I used. If I had not sprayed my primer I would have had to use a chip brush because of all the detail in it, it wouldn't have rolled very well. So the chip brush is only about two dollars if you get a big one. My Worcester shortcut brush that I use for most of the painting is a six dollar brush you can find it on Amazon or at Home Depot which is where I buy mine. My other brushes I used for the center and the blending are really cheap brushes. They're about three dollars a piece and then I would have used a foam brush for the polyurethane if I had not been able to spray it. So my brush total comes in at $15. Now my one single most expensive purchase on this piece besides buying it to start with were some hairpin legs that my husband put on for me. They were $16, they're four inches, they elevate this piece in more ways than one and I'm excited for you to get to see the reveal but our total is eighty dollars all right let's see if you think this piece is worth the eighty dollars Well, what do you think? Was it worth my $80? I definitely think it was. I really do love how it turned out. The handles scared me for a moment when I first put them on because they were so bold, but now it's really growing on me. Let me know down in the comments if you like it this way or if you would have done it a little different. I enjoy hearing things from other people's point of views. And if this is your first time finding our channel due to the $100 challenge, Welcome to the channel and I hope that you'll subscribe. We post on Wednesdays and Saturdays with flips just like this one. I'm going to have a playlist down below with all the links of everybody else who did the $100 challenge so you can continue watching videos like this all day if you want. But this is all I got for you for today, so thank you so much for joining me. I'm Sarah with our Furniture Flipping Adventure and I hope you'll subscribe and I'll see you again on Wednesday. Bye!